All right, everybody. Welcome to the start of our show. Now, our first guest tonight is an author. She's written this book. It's called The Quickening. Please welcome Michelle Hoover. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Hi. Let's talk about The Quickening. We know that it just came out this past year, correct? Yep. And, uh, and you wrote it. It's about something going on in Iowa. Something, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, two Iowa farm women. They're trying to survive the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. uh, they're each other's closest neighbors, so they have to depend on each other, but one eventually betrays the other. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it's been called the anti um, home of the prairie <laughs> by some. <laughs> Why? Is there a lot of fighting going on here? Well, it's, it's, it looks into the darker side of, of people that mistrust their neighbors and mm -hmm. just jealousies and, and, uh, you know, things that people tend to do in order to protect their own. Mm -hmm. so. Now, you actually had something that helped you write the book. It was something from your great-grandmother. What was it? Yeah, so my great-grandmother, at the end of her life, she wrote about 15 pages that described everything that had happened to her. And it's, it's very short, but it's, it's a very touching. She just lost her husband of over 50 years. Mm -hmm. And so she's, she's mourning him and wondering, you know, where is my darling gone and wondering why... God has left her there. Mm -hmm. um, and so Enadina's voice in the book, she's one of the two narrators, Mary's the other, is based on my great-grandmother. And I have had a lot of people that have told me um, that, that they felt that their own grandmothers are talking to them mm -hmm. in the book. And that's just amazing for me to hear. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Now, now what, what, what led you actually to get these, uh, these papers from your great-grandmother? I stole them. No, <laughs> um, my my mother just. Uh, no one in my family ever talks about our history. <laughs> they they just claim, oh, anytime I'd ask questions, oh, we're just from Iowa. There's nothing to know. And so, she suddenly she just handed this over as if it wasn't anything important. Mm -hmm. And it was my great grandmother's life. And I said, gee, mom, thanks. It's great. And so, and I was 23. I was in an MFA program. And when you're 23, you have nothing to write about, mm -hmm. so I, 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 I stole that, and, and the voice came very easily for Anadina, mm -hmm. and, um, and, it, and it really worked. It took me a lot of years to get it done. Mm -hmm. um, now, what's the response been from people that are actually in Iowa that read the book? Um, they really enjoy it. They think, um, I actually read it to my family first. They're all a bunch of old farmers, mm -hmm. and they're all 90 years old. And uh, they were sitting around nodding their heads when I read it. And I was like, oh, thank God I got it. <laughs> there was nothing I, you know, it felt really real to them. And mm -hmm. then um, I traveled around the Midwest for about two weeks, and I read at different bookstores every night. There's a lot of great bookstores around there. And I had a lot of really wonderful feedback. Most pe people came to it just because it had that farm background, mm -hmm. and they had a great grandmother that lived on a farm, or they grew up on a farm, or their grandmother lived up on the farm. Mm -hmm. And they remember the isolation um, of those women and the stories that they told them. And so they thought that the book really hit home in that way. Mm -hmm. so. Now, we know we can find the book. It's on Amazon.com, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, you can find it in local independent bookstores. But do you have a website that people can read about your uh, bio and stuff? Yeah, it's www.michellehoover.net. That's great. Now, do you do any uh, uh, book tours? What, what, what do you do about showing your book to other places? Do you, do you go around the country? I know you, we talked that you've gone to Iowa, but any yeah. other places? Um, I, did, I did the Northeast. I did Arizona. I've got family there. I did Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, my publisher, Other Press, was very supportive. They sent me on a book tour, which is almost unheard of. Mm -hmm. um, I'm one of their few American authors. They mostly do international voices, so I was really happy to be a part of their collection. Mm -hmm. And um, and I just I love doing readings and I love the independent bookstore scene and just have had a lot of support so that was a lot of fun and, and meeting audiences and getting feedback is is really interesting. Now we know it's your debut novel, yeah. but is there another book that's coming out from you? Um, I'm working on another book right now, another family story. I discovered a couple of summers ago that two of my great aunts disappeared from their family farm in the 1920s and were Ooh. never heard from again. And I supposedly look just like one of them. Oh. So to me, this the so whole thing just makes me shiver. You could be her for all we know. I could be her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm exploring that mystery. And um, it's a German-American family, you know, and during after World War I, they were having a lot of difficulties. Mm -hmm. um, a German man was lynched in Illinois and just kind of... the. The killers were just let go because he was German. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it reflects a lot of what's happening, I think, with Muslim Americans today mm -hmm. and other um, other populations today. Mm -hmm. So it's a really interesting story for me. Well, we wish you good luck with it, and we wish you good luck with your book. It's the quickening. Everybody, Michelle Hoover. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Right after this.